What's good, my people? We are definitely back again for another vibrations here on this year. One and only Mistlix Reacts channel, guys. Of course, this is where I tend to react to a number of videos taking place where in Dominica and the Caribbean and the rest of the world by extension. So, with that said, guys, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get all the videos. I don't know why I keep rubbing my hands like this, like I'm about to do something. <laughs> Maybe I'm about to do something, I don't know, guys, but we're definitely back again on that vibration. So, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get, so you can get all the videos. As they tend to come through. What you see right there, guys? Of course, this is the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, there's some a bit of a upset in the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, this is um August 5th, as of 5 a.m. Of course, according to St. Lucia, St. Lucia time, Dominica time, same time in the Caribbean. And of course, these are some of the developing situations right there. This one, of course, is very close. Uh, I think this is between the 5th of August and the 15th. So we'll be seeing some things happening right there. We are back in action, guys. We are back in action once again. So this one is 20% and developing. They stated, they say it's going to be coming up this way. This one is also developing as well. It's at 50%. And I think this one is 50% and this one is something out there. So there's something happening in the Atlantic Ocean. And I know we are under lockdown here in Dominica, but apparently after we come out from this lockdown situation, hopefully after the, the seven days are up, um, we will be back to square one again. We'll be back inside, guys, um, because there's uh, some Atlantic um, situation that is happening out there. And of course, this is the vibrations, right? Anyways, guys, what is taking place in Dominica? This is actually in Point Michel. I was told this is in Point Michel, and apparently... So it seems like I don't know if this is is based off the Rona situation because normally when it's a Rona situation they use a different um um vehicle you know the kind of armored looking like vehicle they tend to um, use the military type medical vehicles um but I see they have this there so I don't know if there's a bit of a problem with somebody there but this is actually happening point mission however guys i must know guys let me i want to break down something for you guys right there when it comes on to the reaction note when it when it comes on to the reaction um the videos that i tend to react to there's no in-depth research um i think that is the reason why the reactions are there you don't want to be doing research and then react to it it's it doesn't give the authenticity of the reaction so when i do the reaction videos guys i tend to give my authentic views and my my, uh, my authentic thought process on what i'm actually viewing when it comes on to the situation so with that said guys um i tend to you know make kicks on different things whether it's serious or not that serious or you know just my reaction my personal reaction when i see um certain videos out there so that is why the reaction videos are a bit different from the vlog videos the vlog videos i tend to go more in depth in the research of different things and then put them out there or ask questions based on what i found out and of course put that out there for you guys to also do your research in this regard however guys on a serious note normally the reactions are a bit you know jokey and everything but a serious note guys based on what is taking place in dominica i must ask the question right there guys who is really bringing the rona to dominica is it the vaxxed individuals or is it the individuals who are not vaxxed remember dominica was pretty much cleared before they allowed um the vaxxed individuals to come in without being quarantined normally the protocol for both vax and unvax individuals they have to be quarantined the vax individuals get a shorter time and of course the non-vax individuals get a longer time um in in this regard however guys on the basis of what happened in other caribbean countries we must think of the, to ourselves we must think and yes you have to open up the borders open up the borders but on the basis of what you have to think of these things because yes you want the country to run yes you need monies to come in you need you need um, um trade to happen but you also have to think of the possibility of of things getting worse. I mean, if you look at certain kids, when they start opening up their borders and individuals who were um, vaxxed, who came in, and the non-vaxxed individuals who were in the country, all of a sudden you had about 300 and something cases, guys. You had a, and, and don't get me wrong, it's not like it's, it's, it's an alarming thing. This is like most of the cases are asymptomatic, okay? Now, when it comes down to the situation in Dominica, before they allowed the borders to be opened for vax individuals to come in without quarantining, we were pretty much good. Everything was safe. Everybody, nobody was complaining about, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Rona, in, in Rona, in, Rona in people's house and those kind of things there. You, if you guys don't know what the Rona is, it's C Rona, if you understand what I'm saying right there. So I have to say it that way because YouTube like to think my channel. But on the basis, guys, that 
we we are actually opening up the borders to individuals who are vaxxed and now we have these problems right there so the question is who is really bringing in the rona into dominica it's not the local non-vaxxed individuals for sure it is not them so if it's not them based on the track record the data the statistics that was being held in dominica before the prime minister and the, 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 the dominica government allowed the 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 non the, the the vax individuals to come in without quarantining and now we are in a present situation 45 and increasing i've heard so who, who is at fault right there guys who is at fault right there that's just something that i, that I thought to myself let me just put that out there for you guys and, and, and let me know your thoughts guys let me know your thoughts anyways guys with that said there's some other interesting videos that i actually saw as well this of course is one of them right there for those of you who haven't seen it, those in overseas and everything, this is the video. I am, I am not, uh, I am not, I'm, I am not <laughs> a kindergarten school boy. <laughs> a what? A kindergarten school boy. I'm he's not your little boy. He pretty much saying he's not your little boy. You don't have him like your little boy. He's not your juju. You don't have him like your juju in the place, man. <laughs> I like the way he starts saying that. Let me bring that back. Let me bring it back, guys. I am, I am not. Uh, I am not. Like when you revving up, <laughs> you revving up there. I'm, I am not. <laughs> he really tell you not. A kindergarten <laughs> school boy. boy. Real talk. A kindergarten school boy. <laughs> I am not. A guinea pig. <laughs> I cannot be locked up in a prison cell. <laughs> 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 I cannot be locked up in a prison cell. <laughs> he boy, right. I what to do? <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting the kind of mindset that that comes in. Hey, we have stuff to do, man, and you want to lock up the place. Hey, anyways, hold on, guys, my phone ringing. Anyways, guys, this is another thing uh, um, that I want to make reference to right there. Let's go. I see what they're boy. I see Dominica, no see what you now. I want to come now and enjoy myself. Man, seeing what the vibes is in Dominica, man, want to jump up by. <laughs> you mean? But I don't know what to do. So talk to me. What to do now? Front door or back door? Don't stay in water. So this is during the election times when the prime minister was well. Prime minister and his colleagues were pretty much telling individuals, "Hey, you can come in anywhere. Back door, front door, indoor, outdoor, teleport. You can come through." That is what they were pretty much telling individuals. Back door. So, how is it I come down the cafe back door there? No, take your pre pre. Take your cannon. Take the boat. Swim if you have to. <laughs> okay, but. So you have to take your little pee pee boat. Take your, your, what you say? Take your cannon. Your canoe. Okay, people are still build cannon, but take okay. Take the boat. Back door culture making ding dang apparently. Swim if you have to. Okay, but. <laughs> Even swimming. Scammer, you think I should take what she's saying, you know? Because I don't, I don't to come down Dominica next thing. Coast Guard have to hold me. Eh? <laughs> yeah. But that is if Coast Guard doing the job for real. Yeah. Let's face it. We are talking about among ourselves as Dominicans. We have had a a culture. It's part of our tradition in this country of coming to Dominica for backdoor. So apparently the prime minister is there for promoting coming through backdoor. You come through backdoor. That's part of our culture. So I guess as situations happen in Dominica, people want to come through back door because they see see one thing, then go back back door. So? Yeah, you give me problem. That is how they say um. Why is his name um? Choksi. They, they say Choksi. Choksi was part of the culture too because they Choksi come through back door. Permission to come down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so how to, how to come down again? Front door or back door? Don't stay in water. Front door or back door? Don't stay in water. Front door or back door? Pp, we can do and swim. You have to swim if you can swim. That is what they were saying. Pretty much right there. Anyways, guys, talking about the whole situation that happened over the past weekend, the weekend before. Um, apparently there was some sort of event that happened in Bellevue Chope. And this was actually, I think there was an event on the 9th. Um, this was some of the organizers in there meeting with Kenneth Daru. And of course, he was one of the organizers of that event. However, guys, we're going deeper than this. If you want to say, oh, no, it's nothing because a lot of people are trying to blame individuals 
and saying, oh, is did I do this and did I do that? When this individual was a pretty much a part of this, they were part of it. And, and, and over the weekend, by the way, guys, the weekend of the bike should be, they seem to be blaming the bikers for the whole situation that happened at the lot. But these guys were the ones who orchestrated another event during that time. So there was a big event, a free event, in some sort of mall. I don't think it's a real mall, but they call it a mall. Bellevue, Bell, Bellevue Mall or something like that. And anyways, this one was for the 23rd. That's for the 23rd if you've seen this right there. And if you scroll on, guys, we realize the sponsor is Dr. Kenneth Daru and Kari Bear. So these are some of the individuals who sponsored this free event. The free jam Bellevue Mall this Friday. We're crossing the Louber Bridge to go Bellevue. And these guys were part of, of, of the, that promoting these kind of events. So when you have this type of events and individuals coming in, now on the basis that individuals tend to come in who are vaxxed and they tend to come in and then they mingle because there's a big party going on because they allow them to come in without quarantining, then these kind of situations will happen. It's very obvious that this event took place on the Friday, the 23rd of July. That was two days before the bike event and the lot. True or false? Definitely true. So this event actually happened. And then we are hearing that a number of people have been taken. Uh, with this old oh, matter of fact, this is the actual um, ad for it right there. Sponsored by... I also heard that he this this thing was taken off from his, his his Facebook page. <laughs> By the way, people were telling me that the guy I was talking about Ridge. I don't know them, you know, guys. I don't know them. <laughs> Anyways, in the the guy performing in the 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 um the lot event um from the video that I showcased was actually Jolly and not Ridge. But they say that Ridge also performed there that night as well. So, so this was the event that they were promoting Friday, Friday the July twenty third, two days before the the bike show and the lot event. And they are blaming the lot and they blaming the bike show event for happening. But then we hearing that they picking up people in Bellevue Show Bear. This is in Bellevue Show Bear, by the way. So they will be pick, they have been picking up going behind people and picking them up and, and stuff for them to go and test and so forth. No guys, don't get me don't get me crazy on this thing. I, individuals collecting their stuff for them to go. All this is happening in Bellevue Show Pair. I guess they use the other ambulance this time. And guys, by the way, this is not anything for you to be worried about. If you did catch the runa, or if you didn't catch the runa, or if you catch the runa, you shouldn't be worried. But you're good. No, guys. I mean, this has a recovery. This has a high recovery rate right there. All you have to do is pretty much boost up your immune system. That is the whole basis of, of what my, I've been saying. Just boost up your immune system. And this is another... Let me make this brighter for you guys. Sometimes... He will not film thing properly. <laughs> that is really fucking pa, pa. something. Oh, boss, what are people? That's crazy. Well, they say the Delta variant is very catchy, so. I don't know if it's the Delta variant that there, but you know, they say that is the Delta variant is in Dominica. That's what I've heard. And um, yeah, I mean, if that is the case, that is the case. But it's not anything for you to be worried about. You can see pretty much see this individual was walking healthy and everything like that. It's not like you have to go crazy. Oh my God, I did. No, guys, you don't have to you do those things. You know what I mean? But I've also been hearing that um, I had it on my, my thing somewhere. Let me see. Uh, Minister of Government have been tested positive. They haven't released that name. I said I stated this already. I said these guys have, you know, all kind of. Anyways, let me go in my my statistics for him to find that thing out. Okay, breaking news. Information coming. It is alleged that the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Health, 
and her sister and mother has been tested positive for the runa. Now I see where this came from. How could she allow that to happen? Shake my head. Also putting my community of Laplane at risk. So there's also another breaking news according to um, Jason Fountain right there that well it's alleged that is the case and there's i'm also hearing that another minister has is was tested positive the question here is well if they're talking about the whole you see and guys i'm not trying to guys let me let me just finish this thing right there i'm not trying to put blame and say this is the people and whatnot and whatnot but i'm just saying based on the whole quarantine protocols and everything i mean i think it'll be vital to put back the quarantine what do you think guys if you think it is vital for them to put back the quarantine on both vax and non-vax individuals, please give this video a thumbs up, guys. Give this video a thumbs up because I'm, I'm trying to understand. We we were, we were good back then, regardless of we not wanting quarantine and those kind of things. There, we were still good back then. And now they're allowing people to quarantine indiv the vax individuals because the vax individuals apparently are vax, but the vax people can still get it and still pass it on. Yet still, we've seen the evidence of this in other Caribbean countries, and we're still allowing that to happen in Dominica. I mean, we don't think statistics is important, people. Statistics is important. <sighs> Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on the whole situation right there? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Um, I think I'm, I have to get a letter from the bikers. Um, I think I'll do that on the vlog tomorrow. I'll do it like a reading session or something. Whatever that comes up, guys, I will definitely do that tomorrow as well. So, anyways, guys, with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you want if, if, if you want a quarantine to come back for both vax and non-vax individuals. Because regardless if you vax or not, you can still you can still catch it in your you can still pass it on. What is so hard to understand about that? Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. And I will see you guys in the next Mystelix Reacts video and another reaction. <laughs>